Praise be to the Lord on this beautiful day, everybody! It's Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Free! So, we're almost to the end of Mechanos already. Today, we're going to Boys and Bazookas. It's another one of the chemical plant levels! So, you remember the cannons from Donkey Kong Country 2? Yeah, that's what this level is all about. I love the horizontal ropes. Especially the image of Kid or the animation of Kitty Kong climbing on them. But yeah, the main gimmick are these bazookas. They shoot barrels that you can jump on. These are the bazookas. You can't kill them. I don't think by any means. I don't even think TNT barrels can kill them. Lava pit there, so be watch out for that. And now here's where we try to outrun bazookas. Darn it. I forgot. Oh! Pfft. Normally you're supposed to use the TNT barrel to kill that guy in order to get Squitter. But I guess uh, they were feeling generous and let us have it for free. Ah! Ouch! That's okay. I can show you guys the, the way that you're intentionally supposed to do that part. Yeah, Dixie Collins shimmying across is not very cool, but Kitty Collins, it's like, oh yeah, you know Kitty Collins is a boring climber. Yeah, watch out, because some of the bazookas, as you can see, they shoot TNT barrels, while others just shoot regular barrels, so you don't want to jump on the TNT ones. Yeah, you're supposed to take this through here, blow him up, and then you get access to the squitter barrel. And if you still have your skills from Donkey Kong Country 2, Squitter, you can actually use very well and very easily. So what you want to do is shoot like crazy to blow up the TNT barrels before they get close to you, so you can get into the bonus barrel. Yes, you can hear these are mechanical buzzers. Like, they're literally like robots. They're making the steel noise when you kill them. Oh, I thought you had to kill them all. Nope, just find the coin. Squitter's so happy with himself. And we get the O, oh, sweet. And yes, we actually get to be remain as Squitter for a decent time. This is an interesting uh, coin. So this introduces the second gimmick, where you, if you hit these barrels, you can change what the bazookas shoot. So we can change them to steel drums. And like that, we can get the TK coin. That's a very creative use of the steel kegs to uh, get the coin, which is pretty cool. Oh boy. Whoop. Yes, we need that checkpoint barrel. That'll change the TNT barrels up ahead to just regular barrels. Much less dangerous. And if you don't have Squitter, that's what you need to do in order to progress through there. Thanks, Squitter. You've been fun. Whoop! That was close. Dixie Colton's hairdo twirl really does come in handy for this. So we fire in between two TNT barrels. No big deal. And they love putting those clap traps in. Uh, like parts like that. Whoop! Ouch. Ouch. I think we missed a bonus barrel somewhere anyway, so... Plus I can show this part if you don't have Squitter. Okay, there's just lava pits down there. Had to check. Thank you. 
Oh, hi, a lava pit. Oh, that's nice that they give you a launch barrel right back up. What's down here? Okay. It was worth checking out. Okay, I could have sworn I would die to the first one, ended up dying to the second one. Okay. Expectations. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, hi. That was dumb of me. I apologize for my stupidity. That was also dumb. I thought those were the ones that came out fast. Doo -doo 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 -boom. Later, alligator. Oh, get it? Because I'm going up against crocodiles. Okay, I was wondering if the bonus barrel would be over there. Oh, that's right, I remember now. Yeah, you gotta time that really, really nicely. Oop. Gotta make sure you go back, otherwise you're gonna end up in the lava. Alright, I'm gonna try a new plan. I'm gonna jump on this guy first. And then, yeah, just use Dixie's hair to get over. Not sure if you need to use Dixie's hair, but that's definitely the easy way out. Okay, that was an easy bonus barrel. Sorry, Dixie. Your service was greatly appreciated. Doo -doo 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 Sweet. All right. Next up is Low G Labyrinth. Stands for Low Gravity Labyrinth. We're back in the pipes, but with very different music because we're not in a toboggan on this level. So this level, as you can see, gravity's much, much lower. We're also slower. This is one of those levels I'm not a huge fan of. It's a little too gimmicky. Which I know Donkey Kong Country levels is supposed to be like a level as a gimmick. You explore that gimmick until the end of the level when they've kind of exhausted it. I just don't like this gimmick. <laughs> like it's a little extreme, like flat out changing one of the core game mechanics. Namely the platforming. There's also another gimmick later on in the stage. It's easier to get past those guys if you wait till you're falling as opposed to jumping up. Since on this level, falling happens slower than jumping. Actually, I think that's the case on any level, but really it's just your jumps are slowed down and more drawn out. This part's annoying. <sighs> that part really is nerve-wracking. But cool. I'm sure you're wondering, how can you possibly get that bonus barrel? 
Even with your super jumpy knight, you can't reach there. Well, we're about to meet the second gimmick. A new animal buddy, kind of. Not sure his official name, I'm going to call him Squeaks. He's Squawks' his lamer younger brother who can't shoot nuts. We remember him from Donkey Kong Country 2. He's a little bit better than that, because in Donkey Kong Country 2 he couldn't fly up, but he can in this, and it's not just because it's a little gravity labyrinth. The problem is, Squeaks, well... Squeaks stinks. Instead of shooting nuts, he has to pick up barrels and throw them. But he kind of stinks at that. There you go. Yeah, as you're about to see. And trust me, this is not the only level in the game of Squeaks. We will be seeing him later. On a much more annoying level. Yep. Oh, what? Wall clip. And yes, you can just literally do that. Man, he is so slow at flying down on this level, it's annoying. Alright. Watch out for the wall clipper there. You do not want to drop this barrel on this doofus's head. Game wants you to save it for something else. Namely, this guy. Because so that'll take you to a bonus barrel. I would like to get another comb first, though. I ho squeaks away! What? I have no idea if squeaks is his official name or not. But it sounds enough like squawks that people get that they're related. And yeah, and now we actually get squawks, who's way better. He controls exactly the same, he just actually has an attack he can do at all times. I am holding down with all of my might, and it is only going making me go that fast. Wow! One egg got two guys. That is so slow. And now we're magically squeaks again. Guess what we're going to use this steel keg for? Apparently not to get the calm coin. Oh, this might be another level where the steel keg you need does not respawn. Oh, wow! I didn't even need the steel keg. Whoa. I have never killed a coin before with a regular old barrel. Like, never in all my life. I actually did not think it was even possible. Yeah, I'm not after the banana bunch. More trouble than it's worth. Nope. I've gotten both bonus coins, and I've gotten the hero coin, so I'm done. Nope. Nope. Give me the flag. Do 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 do. Blue bump. Hundred percent. Time for the boss of Mechanos, Chaos Carnage. This introduces us to the main antagonist of the game, Chaos the Machine. Psst, click, calms, enemy, you must be destroyed. So this is Chaos. He's going to start the level by 
dropping his flames down on the ground. Just roll under him while his flames aren't there. No big deal. Now he's going in the center. He's going to put out these knives that we can use as platforms to hit him in the head. Make sure you don't roll under him unless those flames are completely gone. Also, if you fail to jump on those knives the second time around, there will be punchy or uh, boxing gloves that come out and punch you. Try to make sure you're on his left side. That helps. And now his head falls off and we get a different head. This guy has... Now he has sunglasses and looks like a skull. And now his first head will shoot lasers at us at some point. What the heck? Thankfully they go around three times. Take that, Chaos! It's literally like a robot skull using sunglasses. This part worries me. Because you have no way of telling where he's going to shoot those. Oh no, he's the first, like, really challenging boss. And it's all just because of this part. Yes, thank you for shooting them in the center. And I think that's the end. Nope. Just wishful thinking on my part. This is an intimidating boss on your first playthrough. Once you know how to do him, though, I guess he's not too bad. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Cons win? Does not compute. Next time we meet, Chaos will win. Yeah, Chaos is actually the, like, the main villain of the game. Kind of interesting. And we get another stick. They sure don't make boss battles like they used to. One attack pattern is enough for any gamer. I think you'd better go back and see Funky. I'm sure he can help you out. I will do just that. Oh, but first, I want to go back to uh, Blunder's booth. How's it going, Heroic Dixie? I'm not surprised you're stuck. You haven't even searched around the rocks. Right, that's it. I'm leaving. You're not getting any more clues from me, so there. Yeah, I am. You're still stuck? Then again, there's no way you'd ever think of circling around the rocks. Oh, I've done it now! Yeah. He's basically telling me how to access the Lost World. Thanks, Blunder. You're a pal. Eh. Hey, Funky. Well, hey, you found two skis. Awesome. Now all I need, now I have all the parts I need to make the ultimate ride. Wait right there, Dixie, while I bring you my latest and greatest boat yet. Bonkers! I've built in a cool turbo feature that'll be sure to take you to new heights. Just press the B button. All right, let's hire our new vehicle. So we've got the main boat, we've got the hovercraft, now we've got the rocket barrel boat. Not only can it go past the rocks like the hovercraft, we can hold B and it'll rocket along. It's pretty cool. I did not go into Funky Shack, like not even a little. Hey, someone's told me you have been extra I've been extra busy lately. Well, it's uh, something a bit special. If you can find all the DK coins, you can put them down as a deposit on my ultimate ride. Come back when you've got some more, Dixie. I'll keep you informed on how close to the jackpot you are. I, I didn't want to go into your store, Funky. I wanted to use the rocket barrel car again. Beep, 
So I'm going to show off the main gimmick of the rocket barrel. If we hold B, we can actually move up waterfalls now, which is pretty cool. So this gives us access to two new worlds. One of them being K3, which is a snow mountain, as you can see. The other one is over here. This is Razor Ridge. I recommend saving Razor Ridge for last. It's a very nasty world. We also can access this house, Barter's Swap Shop. Well, good day to you, Dixie. How are you? The name's Barter. Whoops, have you seen my washers? Wait, me washers? I'm giving him an Irish accent now. That person funky fella has been acting a bit weird lately. I swear he's been working on some super secret project. But I reckon it's just some silly pipe dream. I've been doing some home improvements, but... Look at the state of me! How will I know when I'm clean? Grubby? Well, my hands might be a bit dirty, but... How do you know I'm not lying about my face? <laughs> that is definitely not an Irish character, but... Whatever. So yeah, these are four rocks that are randomly placed here. Yeah, that's kind of one of the ways you can get to the Lost World. The only way, in fact. Anyways, there's one other world we can access now. And this is the GBA exclusive world, and that's the one I'm going to do next. We boost up here. Alright, first up, over here, another secret cave, Undercover Cove. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to remember that. This is where the caves actually start getting tough. But anyways, now we can go up here. This whole area was not in the Super NES version. This gives us access to Pacifica. So unless there's another... secret cave around here. I don't think there is. If there's not, that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm ColorFlarty. I hope to see you for the next episode, where we are going to start tackling some of the more difficult levels in the game. Because Pacifica, it's a long world, and it is a very interesting world. Have a great day, and God bless!